so today I have got a couple of, uh, of ideas and I want to try and hook up these melon and pumpkin farms to something. I don't, I think I want to just get rid of them and maybe move them somewhere. So we don't need the pumpkin farm. Uh, these are both now uh, melon farms, but as you can see, they're not 100% lotsless. They kind of just leave stuff kicking around. Um, they're efficient. They just kind of keep on trucking. Um, so that's good. <laughs> Cosmic Dancer <coughs> with the hide of future YouTubers. That's awesome. Um, and Fidget, thank you very much for the feedback. Much appreciated. Ha Fidget, have you been here before? I don't know if I recognize your username. Um, so yeah, so that's one thing we can do. We can move these melon farms to somewhere else. I do want to try and hook up this tunnel or this this um, uh, pumpkin farm to a main water stream. Uh, which we have in place we just have to dig the tunnel unfortunately alistair's home is right underneath mine so i think if, if i go down here so it's somewhere around 52 in the y coordinate so 55 sort of like the 52 so here we are at the 52 level and it's like three 365-ish. So there's some stuff down here and I don't know exactly what it is. So I have to talk to him first, I think, before I really uh, can can sort that out. But um, So that's one idea that I have. The other idea is um, to move some villagers. And I think that's probably what we're going to do first because that's pr not going to take too long. I did some prep for it. Uh, Fidget, these are not the default Minecraft textures. These are the quote-unquote new default minecraft textures uh these are texture pack 3.1 from japa and from moyang so these will eventually be the default uh he's working on them he's already tweeted out some changes um for example the stone blocks i think the cobblestone stone brick and do i see oh yeah here's some here's some stone over here so stone brick you can see here he's gonna dial back the contrast apparently he's got some notes that he shared on twitter uh and uh i'm i'm in agreement i i like them i just think that they're very high contrast everything feels very dark even the grass like everything just feels very high contrast um i'm not a big fan of the path i feel like it kind of got a little bit dull kind of went the opposite way i like the the more yellow path uh these however are custom uh, these are a custom texture that I made um, just because the default neon yellow uh, wheat doesn't make any sense compared to this now normal um, wheat. I made I tried to make this look like it was made of that. Uh, that's got more green in it than I'd like, but this looks pretty pretty good, I think. So yeah, I think, <clears throat> excuse me, pardon me, I'm still fighting something off. Um... <clears throat> I think what we're going to do is move some villagers and I had set them aside and I do, I've done some prep work. So the whole idea is that I want to move some clerics or get some clerics at my swamp base because I have a zombie spawner and that way I can get all kinds of emeralds from just zombie flesh. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is turn on the villager breeder just because I want this going while we're working in the area. So let's turn this on. Because I do not believe it is on. Here we go. So that will eventually kick in. And I had set aside a couple of guys already. And they should be just hanging inside the door here. If I can actually play this game and get in. Waiting for shuttle to Joel's swamp base. Now I think there should be two in there. If not at least if not three, I think I only have two. I thought I put three in there, but I could be wrong. So <clears throat> we'll have to wait for somebody else to show up in the, the tank here. Because I don't have a villager to spare, really. So the idea is that we can build a portal, like right here. Uh, I think we have enough room. And just kind of move those guys into it. And they will actually hook up with the main nether portal which is over here because we're so close it'll just link up in the nether so if we go over this way 
this is kind of a this isn't my area this is all kind of helter skelter paths and stuff uh, but down here is the main nether portal for the meadows and this is where those villagers are going to pop out and i've done this once already and then the villagers that i moved died at my swamp base and so i thought i'm gonna have to do this again I'm possibly have to do this more than once so why not make it a lot easier on myself and just make a permanent way to get villagers around in the nether so um, this room is going to remain untouched but i think what we're going to do is we're going to in in any of these new rooms off to the edges here we're going to install these tracks so that you can put your villagers on there uh, and get them where you need to go so previously we had to build like a temporary track and then tear it all down and uh, ultimately down here it's open nether so that there's ghasts and all kinds of problems but i installed this the other night and it was i mean it's really straightforward it's not hard at all but it at least is a covered uh way for the villagers to get all the way to my portal down here and plus i put the glass in so we can see where they are and if anybody gets stuck then we know where to go get them and stuff so then they just end up right here we can nudge them through the portal so the only thing left to do in terms of preparation is where to put them on this side because they cannot just stay here uh, because this is all open there are places for mobs to get up if they wanted to it's well lit but it's not um, it's not exactly secure so I think what I want to do is try to find a way a place to put them and I'm thinking maybe maybe I'll just dig something right here and put trapdoors on top of it and that way we can nudge them down into it and everything will be fine and then we can get them out when we need them i feel like that's probably the best way to go um i don't know when we push them through the portal if they're going to come out this side or if they're going to come out that side i'm pretty sure that they'll come out facing this way so i might have to put some tracks around uh to kind of lead them in here but i think that's what we're going to do so the question is do i have do I have like trap doors and stuff kicking around in here? I probably do. There's some rails. Don't see, oh, four trap doors. That should be all I need. Hmm. Four trap doors. I don't think. Maybe I should do like the fence trick or something. It's going to be at least too deep. We can just put spruce on the, on the bottom of it. It doesn't have to be fancy. That should work. Uh, oh yeah. Let's, let's do six. Let's make some more trapdoors. Uh, oh no, I've got trapdoors in my stone box two more of those and i need well thanks cosmic dancer this is the swamp base have i not shown much of this on stream before i probably haven't we'll take a look around a little bit later on um what was i looking for now i needed more spruce I don't think we'll need 20 but that's fine uh and this should be a silk touch so let's just do right here feeling a little bit on the low frame rate side i'm not sure why So trapdoors go up there, so that means this will probably have to be the bottom. And then I think what we can do just that, that they have a place to oh wait a minute, I don't want them to I don't want them to have to go into the uh, suffocate into a block because that would be bad. 
that should do. And then we can just do these with the trapdoors. There. I really do like Streamlabs OBS performance mode. It doesn't show the video output and reduces CPU usage a lot. Uh, that's cool. Uh, I cannot use Streamlabs OPS, unfortunately. I'm on a Mac and they don't make it for Mac. CPU usage right now is at 30%. 60 frames a second. I'm streaming at 1080p and I think that's probably the difference right now. Uh, I need to put, we'll say, I need to put this back. And I'll put some leaves back as well. So that's a bit of a far drop. If they're in a minecart, they should be okay. I'm not too worried about it. So let's just sleep. So this place is very much a work in progress and it's very industrial. So it's got my mine, it's got a bunch of farms, it's got a witch farm and bulk storage, which is what's, this is what's through here. So this is all the bulk storage from the mine. Um, have a lot of stone, a lot of dirt and still not quite finished. I'm not quite sure how to finish it up. I've been waiting to get um, this area cleaned up because we don't need both of these. Um, I need to clean this stuff up and put some things away before I decide like, okay, okay like what's the main area gonna look like? And the reason it's all bushes is because it's non-spawnable. It's easy to easy to, to keep mobs away, uh, that sort of stuff. So is there birch? Yeah, I'll put that there. So the rails can probably just go, oh, I can't put rails on these, right. So I guess we'll just use, well, you know what? We've got the, the planks. Let's do that. Should be pretty easy to get them in there. Might as well keep the rails on me actually because we're gonna need them at the other other location. So that's this end. And since I've covered up those, um, those jack-o'-lanterns, I should probably put a couple of torches down just in case. Ooh, speaking of, I don't need four. I know, but I'm putting four in anyway. What is down there? All oh, right. I forget about all these things. Uh, so I think that's all we need to do on this end. This is just junk storage and stuff. So now we can just go get the villagers. Oh, wait, redstone box. Redstone box, and I'm gonna grab some obsidian. Hmm, so we do face the other way. Interesting. I'll have to see how that works. Hopefully this should be pretty straightforward. I'm not too worried about us being shot at by a gas. It's more that these guys will not be, which will be nice. Oh, right. We've got a lineup. We've got a prep for this too. This will be interesting because I think this is just like a one, one thick floor. Yeah. Okay. What? Well, I guess we could just put black or nether brick slabs. That'll take care of that. Up to here, remove some of the carpet, and then we'll just have some temporary blocks that'll go from here. Yeah, okay. So I need to get some more rails. We'll just use nether rack or something temporary. You can never have too many torches. I agree in that you can never have too much light. Um, however, I am excited for the lantern 
because it's different than a torch. Because <laughs> I get real bored with torches. Where are my... There are my rails. Uh, probably need a couple of those. And then another rack. We'll just grab. Grab some another rack from there. Oh, I need black nether brick slabs. Do that as well. So the easiest thing is probably going to be to just have them go across rails here. Get rid of this and that. Hopefully I'll remember how that's done. And then up here we can just throw in a bunch of rails. And I think there's just solid blocks that are here. Oh, no. Probably be better off if I did that as a slab. And rails here. Oh. All right, well, we'll just put this on the back. I mean, eventually it's really not going to matter. Some of it's going to be manual. It's not all going to be automatic, but it will get the job done. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I like I like our nether hub. I'm quite proud of it. Do I have enough? Ah, so close. Uh, you know what? I know I've got more. I've got more in the uh, redstone box here. See, aren't we glad we took this? If we had left that in the swamp, I would have been missing it right now. Uh, so let's turn this one into a powered rail. And I think we'll only, I don't think we'll need anything more than that. Now here, Hmm, what is going to be, I guess what I can do here is actually remove this and actually just do this and that should be fine. And then I can add, I can put this back maybe here. And if I need to, yes. Okay. That works. Put one there too. So that should get them where they need to go. So when they come out through the portal, they're gonna come out here. Oh, I think I just sent that carpet through the portal. Oh, wrong way. Wrong door, I get turned around. Happens a lot in here, actually. Uh, just a few more rails. Hmm. I think what I'll do is I'll put rails here. But I won't connect them because uh, I don't want them to go without me. I'd like to kind of travel with them to see what's going on. Uh, so I think that's it. I don't think we need anything else. Should be pretty straightforward. Just uh, grab my stuff and we should be good to give this a shot. One of these has got obsidian in it. This one. Go. Shortcut. All right, so this will take us out through the main portal and then we can go back and uh, 
grab some villagers. Oh, I think I just picked up that carpet. <laughs> Still daytime. It's good. I think I know what it is with my with my Mac making a lot of noise. It's it's loading in all the chunks. So uh, we can remove this. There are at least two. So what we can do. You know, the easiest thing to do is probably going to be to put a portal right there. Is there anything on the other side I've got to worry about? Uh, torches. I guess I could do it here, but I feel like there's something underneath this. Nope. Should be good. So if that's the case, then I can just put... Oh, there's the water stream. Okay. I knew it was around here somewhere. And then... Can just do the obsidian here. This is going to be a cheapo portal because it's just temporary. Uh, we'll have to take this out. Whoops. One, two, three. That should work. So, last time I did this, I ended up at the main portal. Perfect. Facing the wrong way. So we might have to adjust. We have to, might have to just kind of scoot them around, but that should work. Nighttime. Uh, closest bed is my own. So we'll take care of that first. How's everybody's weekend going? Mine's been really chill. I've been working, but nothing too crazy. Remind me, Cosmic Dancer, when I'm when I'm done with this, at the end of the stream, I can actually go around and show you a bunch of different places where you can build if you want. Okay, so I think all we need to do now is just get at least one of these guys on a rail and get them through the portal. Oh, right. That's right. I forgot. We have to get them out of the minecart. Oh, can I not get up there? I have to break this. I haven't done this in a while, if you haven't, if you couldn't guess. Uh, what is going to be the easiest way to do this? Let's get rid of... Hmm. Oh, I've got some slabs on me. We can do, do this. So he still can't get over that. But what I need to be able to do is punch his minecart. go through the portal he goes hey tuxedo cat what's going on uh, now I have to go through the portal myself
Lots of Minecraft and Tuxedo Cats weekend. That sounds good. Oh, hey, look, he's on the right side. Awesome. Do I have the minecart? I want the minecart. So let's just see if we can get him to stand on that right there. And then we can just get him over this way. Oh, that powered rail doesn't have any power. That's fine. Uh, redstone box. You know what? Let's just make a button. Don't go this way. Really? All right. Just go. <laughs> Why are you not going? Oh, because there's no... I think to start him off, there has to be a block here, right? There we go. Don't know if this is going to be enough. Close enough. Same idea. Not the perfect system. There we go. So far, it's going the way that I want. It's fast, it's smooth. You should be dropped off right at the other portal. Excellent. So I think the thing to do is going to be to move both of them and then put them through the other side so I can do that all at once. So I'll go get the other villager. And let's fix this so that it's a one shot track so we don't have to boost them a couple times. Um, we'll just grab Grab a couple of redstone blocks and that should be should be all we need. Just do this. Put you here. And we'll just get rid of that. Just for now, this will be all we need to do. Oh, does that not power that? Interesting. I thought it would. I guess it would have to be higher. It's alright. This will be a cleaner looking solution. Uh, this. Yeah. Uh, did I say I wanted clerics? Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, clerics were purple. Um, no, so uh, the villagers that I'm moving are nitwits. They're green. I'm going to make a breeder in the swamp. Basically, I had set aside three clerics, and they were the best cleric trades that you could have. And I moved all three of them. I put them in their little cells, and then they died. And I was mad. So rather than having to try and get more clerics and move more villagers through the nether and blah, 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 I thought, well, why don't I just make a villager breeder in the swamp? And that way I can just breed villagers in the swamp until I get the villagers that I want. And if they ever die, I can just replace them right in the swamp. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using the, I'm using the nitwits for breeding, not for, for anything else specific. Um, so yeah, so that's why, that's why I'm moving nitwits. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's what's going on there. So now that side's all sealed off. Do I have any more villagers in here? Probably not. Hey, there's Jared. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, it's just more efficient, right? Like, I mean, once you, this is tedious stuff moving these villagers, although it's going quite quickly, mainly because of that permanent um, transportation system that I put in the nether. So let's get prepared for this guy. I thought I had set aside three, because you need three villagers to, um, to set up a breeder. 
So I'm gonna have to. St I'm still gonna have to move one more villager, or find one. Just need him far enough away that I can do that. Okay. I don't think I can do it from up here. I think I have to try and hit his to be on the slab. Go, one hit wonder. So my hope is that there will be another villager or I can just grab one of these guys and bring them over and start the breeder that way. Oh, hey, he should not be in here. How did that happen? How did you get in here? This place should all be lit up. There should not be any way for that guy to be in here. That's not good. Because that's where all of our villagers are. Oh, what's the light level right here? Nine, that's fine. Weird. I wonder if maybe I took out some light here? I don't think so though. All right, well, we'll have to take care of that to comb this place and see. Odd, odd, odd. Uh, I, and one of these guys, like some of these fishermen or one of the low level trade folks I, should, I could probably take. The farmers and the clerics I kind of want to leave just because it's nice to be able to trade rotten flesh. Like we've got the low rotten fresh flesh for these guys. So it's kind of nice to have them here. Oh, hey, Wops. Thanks for stopping by. I'm fine. Thank you very much. Thanks for asking. Sorry, I just I just caught your message now. Uh, I guess we should go through into the nether. You've been looking for someone to stream for or to watch for over an hour. Wow. Ah, he's in a tricky spot. Let's see here. I think I'm going to have to try and nudge him out of the track first. I just have to be careful not to send myself through. Okay. Here we go. And then let's just break this one and put one there. As soon as he hits that powered rail, he should be gone. And away we go. To remember my red shulker box is up here too. Nice. Glad you're having a good Sunday, wasps. So that should put two of the villagers that we want. Oh, weird. Wonder why he slowed down. Really bizarre. Well, this should be pretty straightforward. I just need to maybe make sure he can't go, go back. thinking maybe getting rid of that's a good idea and then we can just see on the hmm there we go it's close enough and then we can just break that one and that one away they go I think it should still be daytime. Ah, okay. Where are you going? Let's not let you get as far as you think you're going to get. I need to put something in here that I can. Get on there. Okay, that's you. And then, do I have another minecart? I do. I forgot that they were going to be able to walk around on the side. My bad. Okay, so this should be pretty straightforward. 
let's break, make sure that there's no one attacking this guy. Let's move this guy over here. It's going to be a little tedious. You need to stay away from the drop. <laughs> I do not want you to go all the way down to the bottom of the world. That would suck. But once we get him on the track, it should be pretty straightforward. Okay. So let's break you and you. And put you there. And then get you down into the pit. Really? There we go. That's one. This is actually going a lot faster than I thought. Scoot, scoot, scoot. I think they sit on the edge of the trapdoors. So that's why they don't go down. There we go. Perfect. Place all these with the leaves again. I think I'm actually destroyed one over here, trying to get things done too fast. Oops. Okay. Well, let's sleep again. 